What's up ZBrushers? Welcome back to Z Fever. My name is Ricky and today we're going to be talking about macros. Um, macros are basically an automated script uh, of a recording of your actions on the document, right? Um, and the reason, the way that they're useful is that it can really speed up uh, processes that we do on a, on a regular basis, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a, uh, I'm going to show you how I jump into getting to work sometimes, right, in here. Um, so let's get to it. So I have this character, this guy, um, I created them back when I started working on this back in, uh, when 4R6 was, uh, around, <clears throat> and I, I, um, so I I made this with uh with a series of spheres that I just uh dynamished, right? And so um I wanted to kind of walk you through how I would how I kind of go about characters and uh a way that that I found to be very very useful whenever I'm trying to get to work and um you know try to minimize distractions cuz I I get distracted super super easy cuz probably just like shiny objects so um what I'll do is I'll come through and as you can see I just grabbed a, a, a polysphere right and then um I will make it a polymesh 3d like uh, we, we would do with any primitive object in here and then I'll come down to dynamesh and then I will um, crank down the uh, density on this thing right and so what I'll do at that point Let's go ahead and change the material and uh, fill the object with that material so that I can see the contrast on the document. But before I start doing any editing to it, I go ahead and I duplicate this a few times because um, I've gone through pretty much every character creation method uh, using, you know, Z spheres, and I actually actually find that useful. Um, in some occasions, but whenever I'm doing something that's like cartoony or or something of that nature, you know, I'll just I'll just grab some spheres and go, right? And so what I'll do is I'll just start moving things around, establishing, you know, you know what is the shape of this character's head, you know, it doesn't have to be anything crazy, uh, it doesn't even have to be human, right? And um, just come through and start establishing shape you know what is interesting why is it interesting you know kind of like the way that this is and um, I'll, I'll use these spheres to set things in a place and establish an attitude establish a form you know um, because if a character doesn't read at this level, it's not going to read whenever you add all the detail into it later. It's, it's just not. It's um. So why waste your time? You know. So I'll come through and you know just set things up and you know try to try to get myself to an advantage point early on in the game, right? Because the smaller is to the greater, as the greater is to the whole, right? And so I, you know, I'm already interested in this guy. I can, I can, you know, get rid of this planaritis that's going on right here. Um, but anyway, so you you can see that you know, it it took me a minute to to get in here and get things all set up. I mean, realistically, like 30 seconds, right? So, um, but. It, it was it was a process, right? So it took me taking my attention off of what I was thinking about uh, designing, and I'm actually going to save this because um, I'm interested in this shape. So uh, weird cartoon. <laughs> uh, never mind the naming conventions. Uh, but uh, that's that's what I'll do. I, uh, I'll come through and I'll, I'll make these things. And so let's see. How can we make this better for ourselves? So what I'll do is I'll come up here and go to macro 
and click new macro and then uh, ZBrush is going to ask if we want to initialize a program so if we hit yes it's going to give us a brand new document and um, we have to go through and do your basic setup if you like to change the background and things like that but right now it is in record mode so it's going to record every action that I do on the screen so if I drop grab a polysphere drop it onto the um, canvas and then throw it into edit mode it is recording those actions and if I turn on uh, uh, the polyframe and then make it into a polymesh 3d it's recording that as well so it's recording everything that I do to the object right and now it doesn't record me dropping things into symmetry but you know that's a small price to pay right and so then it will also record me changing the material and then it will also record me duplicating the subtool right and so once I've done that I can go ahead and say hey I want to end this macro so it's ending the recording so if I go to the ZBrush folder and then go down to the Z startup now uh, sometimes it'll, it'll just natively be there it'll be ready to go right but if I go into macros and miscellaneous and I say uh, we'll call this macro tutorial right and it'll save it and so um, now if I get out of edit mode and clear the document go back up to macro you'll see that in this list of macros oh, come on now um, it, it'll be there so if I just hit the button it's gonna go through and it's just replaying everything that I just did and all my all my sub tools are there and now symmetry is on because I had it on before I actually hit that button but um, everything's ready to go so now all I got to do is just is just come through and start uh, you know editing making adjustments and all that cool stuff right so um, that can definitely be a time saver for some people you know um, it is it definitely is for me I'll, I'll say that for sure so um, you know this might not be news to to everybody uh, I'm definitely sure that it isn't right macros have been around in ZBrush for for a minute but um, you know I really hope that this that this helps somebody uh, you know if you're new here I definitely hope that uh, that you like what you see and then uh, definitely subscribe check out the, the other videos check out the other tips and tricks that I got going on uh, we, we're going to be jumping into uh, a series here pretty soon uh, definitely check out the Facebook group uh, start throwing your work up there guys uh, let's get some critiques going on uh, I've got we got a few people in there and they're throwing some really cool stuff up there and let's let's get things going let's um you know uh, let's let's build this this Z brushing uh, community of what you know whatever we want to call it right <laughs> but it, even if uh, I've got a bunch of free tools and everything like that even if, if that's the only reason you stop by I'm glad that you did okay so um stop by check things out subscribe and happy zbrushing guys take care